Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. Let's just dig a little deeper and uh, let's just go back a couple of days for a moment. Uh, touch on the press conference. So let's just touch a little on uh, Jake's body language and uh, also Ben's. But first, let's just start with Jake. So little bit for me looked like a little bit fatigued maybe i think he's probably trained very very hard for the fight but i really hope uh, that that's the end of his training and he is just going to recoup for the next couple of weeks because he did look to me like a fella who had probably maybe overtrained a little bit but it is it was still two weeks out from the fight and it could have been just finishing the end of a very tough training camp which, you know, he has these couple of weeks to rest, recover and uh, bring it back. So, you know, maybe it's nothing to worry about, but just looked a little bit drained and flustered for me. But uh, yeah, Ben Askren, very calm, very cool on the other hand. Been there, done it. And uh, what can we take from that? Seems very confident. Um, I think... Ben definitely kind of probably inside believes that this is just a YouTube kid. Yes, he has some fundamentals. Yes, he can box a bit, but he, there's no way this guy can out-tough me. It's possible I can make him panic. He'll have an adrenaline dump and maybe I can finish him off. Now, I just think from Jake Paul's side, let's look at both sides. I'm pretty sure his team have are well aware of that possibility that we don't want to panic we don't want a, a jake paul to get a couple of slaps and think oh my god it's not working out i gotta just go for broke and things like that i'm sure they've put him in sparring positions where he's been in awkward positions and they've tried to educate him on on the ups and downs and he won't be as novice there as as much as we probably think i'm thinking that he's definitely been educated on that side of things so let's see is it realistic he could have an adrenaline uh dump or, or uh go in and, and maybe the big night the big fight night biggest fight night of his career who knows he is used to the spotlight with all his youtube and big following so things like that aren't really going to phase him you would think uh can ben Askren, you know get in his face from the first bell yes do it you know not with a bull rush but definitely with just pressure movement and 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 you know as he said he was going to hold a tight defense and go from there so it, it's interesting but i do hope uh, jake was just finishing his camp and he is going to rest and recover because for me he looked a little drained just on body language then we'll touch we had the little bit of a push it's kind of more handbag stuff i don't read into that too much like yeah he pushed him in the face and jake ran after him Thought about hitting him, changed his mind last second, and then hit him like a stupid little slap on the back of the hips or the back of the ass, whatever. But for me, I think Ben definitely was the calmer, cooler, just like I'm here. I know what I need to do. I've been here before. And Jake may be a little bit lost, a little bit there in headlights. And I just hope that that was his adrenaline dump. And now he can rest, recover and stay calm and focused on the game plan because uh, he needs to be to beat someone like Ben. But I'm sticking with my prediction. I think Jake Paul can outbox him. I really do. I think he'll... I'm sure he's learned a lot in sparring and he can probably overcome some adversity. And let's be real, Ben Askren can bring pressure. I don't think he can bring a whole lot of more yeah he can get in his face rough it up a bit but then the referee steps in look i think it's going to be a very competitive fight but i do think jake paul can outbox him bust him up and hurt him i really do i do i think that so anyway let's move on tune in and watch it i think i'm gonna watch it anyway so saturday 17th of april probably or sunday morning 18th early so well, let me see it's in atlanta probably five hours it could be five hours after irish time or whatever you're watching it from you'll check out the times but anyway let's watch it let's enjoy it jump in the comments below what did you think of the press conference what did you think of the behavior um you know is there alarm bells either way let us know what you're thinking in the comments below like and subscribe for more sports coverage i'm mad morrigan the time for cotton is over